there's a big question about just how informed uh, short sellers are and what the source of their information is. Is it public information or is it potentially non-public information that they somehow acquire surreptitiously? And so we thought we would approach the question by comparing the trades of short sellers to the trades of another set of market participants who are uh, informed. And so we decided to compare the trades of the short sellers with the trades of corporate insiders, uh, such as corporate executives. Now, corporate insiders are uh, expected to be the most informed market participants uh, because they have access to in, in non-public information. We started off, we thought we'd look at the correlation between their two trades, and we really expected that we would um, observe uh, short selling following insider sales. Um, and so when we looked at the timing of the sales, we actually found that short sales occurring prior to the insider sales in you know the two or three days preceding the insider sale and the date that the insider sale is reported to the SEC. Um, and this only occurred for the largest insider sales and was not, we did not observe the same pattern for small insider sales. So this kind of, um, th th this was the first indication to us that, hey, maybe there's something going on here in terms of what kind of information potentially that these short sellers have. We looked at a number of potential explanations. For example, is it that short sellers have access to some public information um, that is correlated with the insider sale. And we really did not find evidence consistent with these alternative explanations. And it seemed like the most uh, plausible explanation that would explain all of our evidence was that information about the insider sale is being leaked somehow um, to short sellers prior to the large insider sale. Now, the reason this is important is because, you know, if there is information leakage in financial markets and in equity markets, then this, in a sense, distorts the playing field for all market participants. It means that some market participants have advanced access to information that others don't. Um, and so if there is this distortion of the playing field, if the playing field is not level, then this could undermine the confidence of investors in these markets and therefore limit their participation in these markets. So if people, for example, uh, if you take it to the extreme and people are investing less in the stock markets, then this is going to reduce the efficiency of capital allocation in the economy. And, and, and that's the kind of consequence uh, that we would be worried about from su such you know, a phenomenon like this.